Just a step foot. You own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you want 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17th curb. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to let you know that this video was brought to you by Print Champs. Big Print Champs in the building. Make sure you tap in. Get your Hurt Season hats. Make sure you tap in. Get your Ski Mask Howie shirts. Get it all. I'm telling you right now, the Hurt Season shirt is available. With each purchase of your Hurt Season shirt, you get the Hurt Season hat with a discounted rate. Come on, I'll do that for y'all. I'll do that for the home team. You know what I'm saying? God bless who hating, man. is streaming beautifully, man. The feedback is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for keeping your boy, you know what I'm saying, intact and in heavy rotation, man. Thank you, man. Make sure you stream that as well on all streaming platforms. Now, let's get to these birds real quick. So, you know what I mean? <clears throat> little practice happened today. You know what I mean? A lot, of, a lot of interviews, a lot of players came out talking. You know what I'm saying? And guys are ready for football, man. Guys are ready for football. Guys are tired of the questions. Guys are tired of, com of the comparisons or whatever the case may be, what have you. But let's get into this Derek Barnett situation. Derek Barnett has been granted permission to go out there and seek a trade and move on with his NFL career. I'm not sure if this is due to just a backlog of talent at his position or it's just due to, you know, his course being ran in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? We talk about Derek Barnett with about 22 sacks since he became a Philadelphia Eagle with almost 20 penalties as well. You know what I mean? That this really doesn't balance itself out. But one thing you can't take away from Derek Barnett is Derek Barnett, you know, recovering that fumble in Super Bowl 52. After Brandon Graham smacked that ball out of Tom Brady's hand, it was imperative that we picked that ball up, and Derek Barnett was there. He was just as much a part of that play as Brandon Graham, so I will always forever be grateful for that situation, you know what I mean, being a Philadelphia Eagles fan. <clears throat> but I will say this, in recent years, the fumbles, I mean, well, the, the penalties on third down have cost us a lot, so I feel like, you know, we got way too much talent to even play around with his career, so we're just going to let him, you know, seek a trade or whatever the case may be. I'll take a four for him. He was a first-round pick, 14th overall pick. You know what I mean? My guy Foots, Dallas Cowboys content creator, said it's a bust. He's a bust. He's a bust. But Foots, I got to remind you of the fact that you drafted Taco Charlton in the same draft, and he was buns. Complete and enamored buns. So we just going to leave that alone right there. A lot of Eagles had a lot of interviews today, man. They addressed the media. And my dog, A.J. Brown, is fed up with the comparisons. If, A.J., do you feel like there are fans kind of picking Team A.J., Team Devontae? Do you sense that? Uh, not to even get into all that, but, uh, you know, uh, I... Sometimes, sometimes you see it, and and I and I have seen uh, reporters just asking asking each of us questions, and I I don't think you should do that. I think you should just enjoy both of us. You know, it's not about me and Devonte. We're we're great together. We complement off each other really well. And like I said, that's that's another wide receiver one on the side of me, man. So I think everybody, the city of Philly or whoever, I think you should just appreciate both of us while you have. He's saying, Eagles fans, you gotta stop doing it. Media, you got to stop doing it. What you got to start doing is just being thankful that you have two number one wide receivers. And I'm all for that, man. I, I agree. We talk a lot about Smitty this offseason in terms of Smitty possibly having a big year. Slay saying in a couple years he could see Smitty being one of the best in the game. You know what I mean? And that's no knock to nobody. You know what I mean? That's just a positive on the way that, you know, Devontae Smith has been working. A.J. Brown had 1,400 receiving yards last season. A.J. Brown is a bona fide star stud as well you know what i mean you never you, you know i don't care who has the better year all i care about is that if you double one the other one gonna cook you we trying to win super bowls here man we trying to win super bowls here it ain't about you know 
the comparison, who's the wide receiver one, who's this, who's that. It ain't about that, man. It's about the way that they complement each other. It's about Howie Roseman, you know, having the foresight to bring these two guys together. And it's about the Philadelphia Eagles understanding how important that these guys are to the future success of this team and keeping these guys healthy. So I'm awful with A.J. Brown saying, man, the silly comparisons between the two teammates got to stop. And it's more so Philadelphia media doing it. Fans going to talk. But the media even asking the question, you know, do you guys compete over it? Come on, why are we even asking A.J. Brown that? Why are we asking him that? You know what I mean? It's time for football, man. You know, these guys are running out of stuff to say, running out of stuff to ask. Like, why are we asking A.J. Brown that? Cam Jurgens also talked, you know, to the media today. Cam Jurgens, you know, they asked Cam Jurgens about the offensive line. And you, I guess something on the lines of, are you guys ready? Cam Jurgens said, I don't care where I'm playing. Center, guard, it doesn't matter to me. I do what they say. I'm a soldier in Stoutland University, and I do what I'm told. Man, this offensive line going to be savage with Cam Jurgens out there, man. If you don't know what Cam Jurgens could do, Cam Jurgens gets to that second level, and he's running down the field blocking safeties and stuff like that. With Swift... And Gainwell and Jalen Hurts keeping the ball. It's going to be some long runs this year. Mark my words. It's going to be some runs going for some long distance this year because of the athleticism of this offensive line alone. I'm happy to see Cam Jurgens starting and getting some time. You know what I mean? I was one of those guys that was on uh, on the cusp of, you know, feeling like, you know, well, Cam Jurgens probably shouldn't start you know he should just wait till Kelsey retires to play his natural position but you know when you got talent you got to get talent on the field and I'm happy that Cam Jurgens is accepting his role to be anywhere Cam Jurgens is acknowledging that he's one of the five best offensive linemen on the roster and a deep deep Stoutland University class and he's ready to just put in some pain as a full-time starter this year I can't wait when I tell you I can't wait to see Cam Jurgens in action get into that next level with Kelsey, those big dinosaurs on the left side of the line getting to that next level, getting out there, it's going to be a thing to behold. And the Philadelphia Eagles are in prime position to capitalize on athleticism from, you know, the offensive line and capitalize from the pass-catching ability of the running backs. That's one area where Miles Sanders kind of lacked. He couldn't catch, which is why Gainwell, you know, was on the field a little more in the Super Bowl, especially with Miles Sanders fumbling. So... It is what it is, man. We already know we're going to get out of that. So, you know, um, it, it, it's happening, man. We're getting closer and closer to, you know, to regular season football. We're getting closer and closer to seeing what we have in this Philadelphia Eagles team. You know what I mean? Nolan Smith, you know, he talked about his injury being precautionary. He could have came back in that Browns game, but he hasn't been practicing. That kind of bothers me, if you want me to be honest. I need to know if Nolan's healthy or not. If he say he good, he good. Hassan Reddick, the, the surgery was successful. He was out there practicing today. You know what I mean? The flip side of that, though, is he still got to get his body acclimated. He still got to get out there and run some drills with the ones. He still got to go out there and see where he's at. These cuts are going to come fast, man. These roster cuts are going to come fast. Some predominantly good players are going to be released and, and, and just out there into the open market. You know, this is another area where Howie Roseman likes to feast. Howie Roseman likes to feast on things that you guys leave out there. You leave your leftovers out there for us this year, Howie Roseman is going to pick somebody up. But what are the real needs of this team going into this? You always could use... You know, probably a veteran pre a veteran presence in the uh, safety room, a veteran presence in the linebacker room, maybe another defensive tackle. I'm interested to see what we do there. I would take a defensive tackle there as well. But, you know, the sky's the limit for this team. And I've been saying this this all offseason, man. And in two weeks, you know what I'm saying, the New England Patriots are on the menu. Next week, we gearing up towards the keys to victory. It's going down, man. <laughs>